This video is gonna be as you can see I have a uh, do you get like thick hair and twice or thrice and stiff and try to the bottom edges like my scissors. Hello, welcome back. I think as you have read by the title, you know what this video is gonna be about. I got a lot of requests for this video in particular. I didn't shoot this before because I always felt in insecure. I don't know if insecure is the word about my body hair. Finally, I just decided, you know what, it's okay. I think most of the girls deal with this. So I'm gonna share like what I do. Uh, I think they're like much better options, but this is what I've been doing like all this while. Yeah, let me just jump right into the video and start. Let's start with face. I do have like a small mustache if you can see. Yeah, as you can see, I have like little hair. I know a lot of people have been debating on this like once you shave your face, uh, do you get like thick hair and everything? But I don't know, I've been shaving my face for over three years and you know, this this is how it looks. I still get, you know, like little, little hair and that's it. It's not much. I don't think it grows thick like people say uh, because I've been doing it and my hair doesn't grow thick. I just buy these razors at stores like anywhere, like sometimes Walmart, Target or even online on Amazon you get this. These are like the use and throw ones. So I use it like twice or thrice and then just throw it. I think it's just supposed to use this once. I'm not sure but I try using it like twice or thrice and then get rid of it. Yeah, one day I was just bored so I ordered these from Sheen. Like the first time, I think I used it in my undergrad. It's been almost five to six years that I've been shaving my face. Before that, I used to go to uh, the parlor and, you know, they put the bean wax. I don't know, the wax thing. And I used to get that done. But now, I, I've been using this. So first, I usually use the Cetaphil because the moisturizer is really thick. So that it easily glides on my face. So I just take this. I try to get everything, even my brows, like I literally shave my whole face because it helps you to get all the dirt out. I take my napkin, I'm ready and first I start here and I just keep, as you can see like this, this is the dirt. You hold stiff and try to glide it. Yeah, that's all the dirt and my hair. Yeah, most of the times, yeah, I've got cuts, not gonna lie. It's okay, you'll get through it. This side, it's a lot more smoother and the hair is gone. And compared to this side, like you can see the unevenness, like it's very evident. Yeah, that's disgusting. I try to do it on my nose because, you know, all the white heads and black heads sometimes just comes out. It's all that fuzz. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see this. This part is just that. You don't realize, but there's a lot of dirt on your face. And for my brows, as you can see, there's not much. Like, it's just at the bottom and at the top and I'm really scared to touch my brows so I usually don't do it because I like my thick brows and you know it's fine it's just one or two that's out but sometimes I just like try to do it and let me show so I have this bro thing first I brush it off oh I think I'm very bad at explaining this so just I try uh, so I just try to push this down here like on the top parts a little bit to maintain that shape as you can see I already have that shape so I don't have to like find my shape 
but I just try to remove the extras on the top and do the bottom edges like here. That's it. I, I don't really like touching my brows. I love my brows because I don't know. I feel they're like in good shape, so I don't have to deal much about it. I try to shave the between part. I don't know how to show it to you because I need the mirror, but this is how I do it. Yep, that's it. What do you guys think? I think I did a pretty decent job. I know there's still extra there, but I just don't want to touch it and I don't want my shape to go. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It's fine. It's fine. Back in India, I used to go to this one salon, Lakme Salon. And I used to get it done there. I really miss it. In US... Actually, in Dallas, there are people say there are a lot of people who get their brows done because there are some Indian parlors. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just doing fine. I just take my scissors and try to cut these extra parts. I know everyone has the scissors for the nose hair, and yeah, my nose hair like it comes out very often and i desperately need this at all times right now i don't know I, I can't show you my nose hair though yeah it's like it just pops out like one or two pops out and then i just cut it off yeah i did that off camera because um i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see my nose hair i just try to cut whatever comes out that's it my whole face hair and all the gunk i guess yeah that's it that's how i get rid of my facial hair now i i'm gonna wash my face because it feels gross and i'll be right back okay, now let's talk about my body hair for my body uh, usually i just do my hands and legs my underarms i got laser hair removal done like four sessions and for two to three years, I had like no hair growth. So I thought four sessions was enough. But recently I've been having like few of my hair coming out, like one or two here or there. I think they just missed a spot or something. And uh, yeah, for my underarms, I use wax strips. Wait, I don't know. got these from India. These are those wheat wax strips. So just for my underarms, I use this. But for my, um, for my hands and legs, I use this epilator. I've been using this for, again, like three years, I guess. This is from India. It's like the, when I went for the laser hair removal, she said, okay, in case uh, you, you can use epilator, I think that that works best because it will pull your hair from the root. And to be honest, I used to have thicker hair and... Uh, I think epilator is just helping me. I'm not sure if it's because of that or I don't know what the reason is. But my hair, like, I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is the hair growth that I have on my hands. It's not that much. But yeah, whatever. It's still there. And for that, I've been using this. Yes, it is very painful. And I got this from India. Uh, it The charger doesn't work like match with the US plug points. I just use this one to help me with the charging for the epilator, but if you are in US, try to buy the one in US. I think I have to change mine because it's been over three years. This is the bronze silk epilator seven. It comes with like whole set where you'll have the cleaner and you know, different uh, attachments to it. But I just use this one and it's just my hands and legs. So I have few hairs on my, fingers if you can see and all i do is run through it slowly and it's gone this part of my hand like my arm that there's not much hair so i don't do much but here there is visible hair so i just get this part done like almost like till here and this part i just run it over but there's nothing much that catches because the hair here is very 
like I don't think you can see much see like there's not much hair I'll start doing my hands and I'll show you like the before and after so this is the before one more thing I forgot to mention I think it's easier to pull in the opposite direction so that the epilator catches it so if your hair is in this this direction you have to pull it in the opposite direction yeah that's how it works I'm back with a clean arm so this is how it's done as you can see so this is my arm how it usually looks and this is the result now um i i think I, my body is just used to the pain now so yeah and let me time it for you guys like how much time it's taking for each arm so right now it's 3 38 and let's see like how much time it's gonna take for one whole hand and i think you guys can calculate after that it's 345 and my this arm is totally done so i think it took around like seven minutes which is pretty good like seven minutes and like in 10 minutes you're done with both the arms this is the proof and now i'm gonna do my legs i'm gonna show you my leg hair don't get scared please this is the hair growth for my leg but see this is the hair growth that i have and yeah i do get in ingrowns and everything like sometimes but i just scrub my legs so the ingrowns come out and then i can just epilate them my legs take a lot of time they're long and it's just annoying doing my legs too and my legs hurt hurt a lot more than my hands but yeah i'm mentally prepared for this round let me show you like that's the growth and i'll show you how easily i do it it's as simple as that i just swipe it once and the hair comes off and that's it like you can see but it's quite convenient I already started my other leg but I just wanted to show you the difference between these two legs. You guys can see the difference between this leg and this leg. And the epilator just does the job. So if you guys have been worrying about buying an epilator, then no. I think you guys should invest in that. Not gonna lie, sometimes I just shave because I'm in a hurry. But with epilator, uh, it grows. The growth is you know late but with when you shave i get like the hair growth like instantly in a day or two so that's the reason i prefer to use epilator more than you know shaving yeah so i'm gonna finish this leg and get back to you i finally completed epilating my hands and legs i'm sure most of you have questions how do uh, we get rid of hair down there i usually shave i never got a bikini wax or brazilian wax i've always been shaving all my life and yeah it does irritate for the first few days i'm just been living with that yeah once you shave like the first three or four days are just annoying i really want to go for laser hair removal i think that's the only solution and i'm trying to find places that gets me like you know a good price because it is expensive but it's also kind of permanent so yeah i'm somewhere stuck i did look at ipls but i'm not sure like if they're gonna produce accurate results that i want so yeah girls i just want to say it is common having hair on your belly or on your nipples or you know wherever you have hair i'm not saying that you have to shave or wax it's up to your comfort that you want to do it or no and it is okay like you don't have to be insecure about it because i've i'm saying this because i've been insecure about my body hair for the longest and i still kind of am uh so i'm just struggling with it and yeah it's fine it's just how we're born like it's okay and also i have to let you guys know that i have a haircut appointment the last haircut i got was in tempe in july and since then i haven't gotten the haircut my hair is like this long 
yeah and it's been a while and it's very uneven i don't know how to explain my curtain bangs have grown and i desperately need a haircut because as you can see let me show you like my edges are so dry and it has like split ends and everything so i desperately need a haircut i've been looking into the hair salons in dallas and i've tried reaching out to multiple people and finally i landed on one hair salon it's called the illusions i'm honestly i'm terrified all my life i've been used to like one place in hyderabad or one place in warangal where i used to get my hair cut and suddenly you have like a change of location i don't know it's i think everyone relates to me putting your hair in someone's hand it's really scary sometimes they just cut too much or cut too less or they don't do it in shape there's so much thing so right now i'm freaking out but i'm just gonna trust the process and you know deal with it because i really want a haircut and yeah usually i just get like a 25 dollar haircut at in arizona hair and co in tempe marketplace but uh, yeah let's see this this is a start and yeah, I'm gonna try to take you guys with me and film there. I suck at filming outside. I just get too nervous. Today is actually my everything shot. That's why I'm, I'm, I decided to show you guys everything that I do. And yeah, yeah, that is it. I'm just gonna go get my hair cut done and then wax my underarms and hop into the shower. Yeah, that's the plan. Indian, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's a lot of Indians here. Okay, because of the job you moved to here. Yeah. You're from here too? I'm from Iran. And Did you find love here? I already married. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Sad because I've been alone. <laughs> yeah, and I'm 25 now. You? Oh, you're 25 now? Yeah. You should find someone. Yeah, <laughs> it's I time too. <laughs> if you go to Alamir, someone catch you. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's it. You like it? Yes. I'm glad. And this is a little bit longer, but because I did wait, yeah, it's I know. A little bit hair separate. I'm so sorry. I forgot to film after my haircut. I just uh, was spending some time with my friends, and tomorrow I'm traveling. So I was just in a hurry, and I came home. I showered, and also I straightened my hair. She actually curled my hair back there. Yeah, it looks so short now, but it does look thick as before. It was just so thin and, you know, it looked like a tail. And I feel now it looks so much better. It's just like a normal fresh cut. I just got a lot of layers and my curtain bangs and a bit of framing. Yeah, face framing. That's it. Nothing much. It's around 11 p.m. now and I really have to go to sleep yeah before that i just wanted to say bye and thank you for watching this video let me know if you want more videos like this you can just ask me and i'll deliver so thank you bye see you again